everyone. So today I'm going to do a super quick tutorial on essentially just ways into the rollover. It's one of those exercises that comes up over and over and over again that people struggle to get the pelvis in the air. So what I've got is just a few creative ways to help you or to help you help your clients to actually get into the exercise and then also ways to then help come out of the exercise also, out of the movement. So I've got a bunch of different props and things here that we can use. This is <clears throat> called a wedge. It's a really small wedge, tiny, teeny, weeny wedge. It comes in a pack of two from Pilates Therapeutics. I think you can get them online. Equally, you could go to the market. The, they will cut foam for you for any size, um, thickness, whatever you need, and just take the measurements in or just go a roughly need because it doesn't have to be that prescriptive and get a little wedge, so that's super useful. I've got good old bender ball, a floppy one. It's maybe a bit floppy, that one. A stretchy band, this is one that I absolutely love. I've got the dowel from, so the roll down bar, the dowel from the Cadillac, and then just a half, small half foam roller, and an actual foam roller, and I've also got a rolled up mat. You could use a rolled up mat or even a towel rolled up would work really well. And out of shot, I've also got a spine connector uh, because you will all have uh, some ideas with your spine connector as well. I'm also going to include some springs for those of you that have access to springs. This is two short yellows with some handles and we're going to look at that as well. Purposefully on the Cadillac so that I can show you just simply holding the upright posts. Another way of doing it that we're not going to do today but it warrants a mention is using the chair. So using the chair with the pedal sprung strongly so that you can hold on to either the dowel as it comes out or the pedals themselves. And that's a great way. So your arms are elevated and that can really help to find the flexion on the way down. So that's another bonus one there. So I'm gonna start by showing you the ways to use the Cadillac itself. And then I'm gonna introduce all of these <laughs> many little props this is going to be like how many ways can you get into and out of the rollover okay so the first one is really very simple using the upright posts for feedback so giving a little bit of a push through the upright posts and then with your legs starting position however you that's sort of up to you to go where is appropriate for you or your client, but looking for what's going to help you or them to get over. Is it a push with your arms or is it a pull? It's most likely going to be a gentle push. I'm going through underneath my bar and you can see the difference that occurs between pushing or pulling. And on the way down, the push is going to help to decelerate on the way down. Do whatever legs you want to do. And then same thing again, nice and simple. Then I've got my handles. For some people using the spring may make it feel a little more challenging. They've got to meet themselves in a very different way. This is like what you might do on the reformer, those of you that are trained in reformer. So we're meeting the spring and as soon as you meet, you can see my legs go. It's like doing chest lift. You go at the point that you feel the sternum sink down. It's the same, but in reverse. I can feel that deep connection. I stand strong into my arms. 
I don't get over quite as far with my rollover. But the idea that it gives you and the support that it gives you, it helps you have your arms and really have your back here. So yes, that's a good one for me. Then, third way with the Cadillac is to actually bring that slider bar, we're gonna say roughly there for me today. I'm gonna take my springs out of the way and using the slider bar. Oh, that feels better. So out here is really quite wide for me, but here I can bring my hands in narrower to my comfort. So I think there is good for me today. And now I'm getting more of a pull, like I'm suspended, and I'm just doing rough rollovers because I'm doing lots for you. So that's three ways with the Cadillac. Then we'll just go super simple. A lot of the other ones, it's really just about going, oh yes, I thought I couldn't do that variation because I didn't have a roller or a ball or a whatever. It's going, okay, how can I be creative and give, the, um, give myself or give my client the elevation, that boost, basically, that they need at the beginning. So the, the rolled up mat or rolled up towel is just sending the pelvis up in the right direction for the rollover. So it's literally just taking it off the floor before you begin. Okay, so that's that one. Same principle with the ball. Same principle with the half roller. It's giving you that boost to go already in the right direction. And even for your clients, just doing a little bit is going to start them off. It's going to get them somewhere. Same difference with the foam roller. Your foam roller is just so much higher. So it's boosting them up that little bit higher in the, with their pelvis to get them going. Also, you have your arms. So like I did with the springs here, I can use some purchase of my arms. It's not necessary to say, oh, you know, don't push through your arms. What's important is, are they connecting down or are they actually extending at your shoulders? So that would be, are you then doing this? or can you stay connected down? So connected down looks like that. And then not connected down looks like that. Yes, you know the difference for sure. So final one using the same principle is with the spine corrector. Now, many of you all have done this before. You can do, well, I suppose I better do the, the proper mount. Um, many of you will have done this before in relation to leg series on the spine corrector. So this is even higher already. I mean, you're just really almost there. I always say with whatever prop you're using, how are you using it? How are you integrating? How are you meeting it? How is it helping you? What feedback is it giving you? Now here, there's a really beautiful sense of traction that you can roll 
into it to roll away. Roll in. And then you've got your circle. So rolling in, meeting it. Roll into it to roll away. Okay, so that's all of the ones on that basis. You could get so creative now all the different things to just be just to find the right height and the right push off for the individual okay so then we've got the dowel the dowel is a really underused i believe a really underused prop because the dowel can give you part feedback, part imagined feedback. So even although there's no spring attached to it, you're still holding something and getting a sense of that. So overhead, pulling it apart, pulling it apart, pulling it. So if you think about traditionally, on the mat, the mat had a, a handle back there, so you are doing it in the way that it was designed. It wasn't created with you with your arms by your side. It, if you think about how it counterbalances, it sort of makes more sense. Okay, so then it's just at the base of your bottom, and you're doing the same thing, pulling it apart. Pulling it apart, pulling it apart, pulling it apart, okay, pulling it apart. Now, there are some of you who don't have access to a dowel. You could go to the hardware store and buy a dowel of some sort, like a broom handle, a thick broom handle, and, and have it cut to about this length, it's just short of a metre, and it needs to be thick and have a bit of weight to it. If it's very thin, it doesn't give the same feedback. You can't wrap your hand around it in the same way, so you won't quite get the same feedback. Or, most everyone, like your clients, have all got these stretchy bands that they've got from a physio at some point or other, and you essentially are doing the same things that you just did with the dowel, but with the band and you can see it's not so easy I mean I have done quite a few but still it's not my favorite way with the band overhead maybe it's the one I need to do lots more of and then this way I much prefer really nice and short with the band so it's quite tight and doing the same thing here there we go so it's that beautiful connection of your arms into the back of your body and into the floor, giving you the, the time to roll down. The time to roll down. So I didn't count them up, but it feels like, you know, that was quite a few ways <laughs> to roll over. And go ha take license to be creative with it you understand that we need to roll into the surface underneath to get up and over it's just in the beginning sometimes people need to have their pelvis already in the right direction to give them that push off and some people have to take the arms into another orientation so that they don't go into that really uh, the, the protraction and the subluxation of the humerus and teaching their arm integration and of course you've taught them how to do that before they get here it just goes out the window sometimes when we start to do something upside down so I really hope that that's been useful for you all today to have some different creative ways into roll over I can't wait to hear your feedback and know that this is not the only ways. There's many more ways and you'll come up with other ones. 
and um, I hope it helps. Thanks everyone, see you.